Okay guys, so um, I decided I'd make a little video here, I haven't made one in a little while, and um, yeah, so basically this is part of a project I was working on, it was a music player for Metro, and one of the tricks that I, or things that I had to overcome when I was working on this project was creating a playlist file or a playlist object and then using that object, the playlist object, to load songs into the media player. Now, I'd read on forms that this could not be done. That didn't make any sense to me. It took me a long time to sort of, well, not really a long time per se, but like a couple of hours to figure out the actual solution and work around it or whatever. It really isn't that hard once you think about it, um, but since it, you know, seemed to give other people trouble, I figure I would uh, present my solution, and hopefully it will save other people headaches. And uh, at the end of the video, I will show you guys a problem with this media player, which is why I have ceased development on it. If anybody has a workaround for it, I would much appreciate their uh, two cents. I would, you know, I'm definitely willing to learn. So, anyway, uh, this is basically the code right here. What this is, is it's a list view, and when it is, uh, it's an action on a list view, uh, an event, and when the list view is double tapped, um, it stops the music player, uh, which basically kills whatever song is playing, essentially, and then it gets the current index of the playlist, which is a integer variable, and sets it to the selected index of the list view playlist, which is essentially the list view object that is actually d displayed to the user. So when they click an object within the list view playlist, it's going to give the selected index of that object, and it's going to set it to the current index. And then here it's going to load the music, um, at which point it grabs the playlist dot files dot playlist or uh, and then playlist current index and essentially what that is is it is taking the list view um, playlist selected index so the index you picked which should be the file that you want to play or the song that you want to play and it's passing it to uh, the playlist files here in order to find the corresponding index which should be the same which it is if you handle the code correctly um, and it sets it to this load music variable so then here it's going to uh, load the, the actual file, re read in the file, and assign it to the stream here, at which point it's going to, you know, um, load the metadata for the file and put it into a displayer. That's a function call that I'm not going to bother going into at this point. But basically that is there to display data to the screen so that the user can see like the song, the track, the album, whatever information um, and then this piece of code here sets the autoplay to true so that way the music player just starts without you having to click a play button or anything like that it just as soon as you double click the file it starts to play and then here's where it's uh, getting the source for the uh, for the for the player essentially so this sets the source to the stream which if you remember is set to the read in from the value that we got from the playlist so it's sort of daisy chaining in a sense. Um, and then at this point, just to make sure it plays, we're setting it to play. And then this is a timer which controls the uh, the ticker bar, or the, the position bar on the screen. So that the user can see what point in the music is, you know, where, where, where you're at in the music file and, and this and that. Essentially, um, but this is how the song is actually loaded and played from a playlist file, in, in my interpretation of it anyway. And, and this does work. It is executable code. However, my file here is giving me issues with my developer license again, which is why one of the major reasons why I've stopped messing with this project, because maintaining a developer license is pretty to be very annoying. So, um, yeah, I don't really like messing with it. And at this point, I can't even give you a nice display. Um, of the application right now. But that's okay, it's rather crude at the moment anyway because I just kind of ceased development. But the um, the problem that I was actually having is, I believe it's actually up here, 
Yeah, right here, load playlist. So this is the issue that I'm actually having. This is the one that I actually need or could use help with. So if I had, um, and you'll notice there's a lot of commented out codes here for different methods that I've tried to actually make this work. Um, but basically the gist of this is that this piece of the code here, uh, load playlist, is actually designed to allow the playlist to overcome uh, stop and start of the application. If the playlist was, or if the actual files in the playlist were stored in your media library, this code would work perfectly. However, in most users' cases, especially mine, we store our files in a directory on a hard drive that is not a part of this computer, you know, a network file share or somewhere else. And for some reason, no matter how I try, I cannot get this thing to overcome that because what happens is I get an access denied when I try to load in the files. So I've tried several different methods um, and no matter what I do, whenever I try to recreate the playlist for the user based on a saved playlist file, I get access denied. For all intents and purposes, other than that though, this piece of the code here actually works um, quite well. This is the actual code that loads the playlist in and this is exactly where the error occurs. Um, so if anybody has any ideas or thoughts on how to make that work, uh, I'm all ears. Because I would like to finish this uh, music app. I, I was going to make it a free app for everybody, so it would be great if I could do that. Well, okay guys, I hope I helped somebody out if they were building a music app for Metro. And, um, you know, so hopefully I helped you guys out. Uh, this is kind of a crude video. I'm not really going to put it through a whole lot of editing. I don't have the time to mess with that tonight. So if there's a lot of ums, errs, and ahs in this, it was on the fly, improv, totally. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. and. Okay, thanks for watching.